Hey guys, I have been thinking about a subject which is so important uh, in our everyday life to me as well and on the basis of the mistakes which I made. So um, in the past, I would like to talk uh, today with you um, about Bundarius. So this is the YouTube channel, um, The Power of Your Mind with Veronica Seba. And so let's start Bundarius and why Bundarius are so important in everything what we are doing in our life, you know, especially in the communication and to build up strong uh, communications with uh, another people. Um, it could be so in your personal life, but as well in your professional life. And when uh, it uh, comes to to build up strong relationship and to, to create trust between you and so the another person. Um, and so uh, Bundarius, what, uh, what, what are Bundarius and when you have to, uh, to put Bundarius? Um, it, to me, it it's, um, became an automated method to, to set um, Bundarius and on the right time. Time. So, yes, um, for example, if you have a conversation, yes, with someone, and uh, let's let's take an example. So uh, when uh, you want to build a relationship in business yes, with someone, because so this channel is uh, about the power of your mind. So I want to, uh, to, to teach you how to uh, um, build up beautiful relationships um, and uh, um, through Bundarius, because that's why um, the most successful people, they are very polite, but at the same time, they know how to set the boundaries. And that's that's the secret. So, for example, it's a question of communication and how clear are you about in your communication towards your conversator. For example, if you... Um, ask something your conversator or the partner which you are having a conversation and he or she uh, is saying to you uh, something with um, uh, with a raised tone of voice yeah because so and this kind of people so they they are dominators so they want to dominate you but it's it depends not on the conversator it depends on you the way how do you react on on the conversation and that's what you have to understand it depends as well on how far do you let go your conversator so it means that when you uh, notice that the that your conversation partner it's not uh, glad so with something then you have to ask immediately what is the reason that he or she is, is not glad so and 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 the why yeah so and it will um, overcome frustrations and for you and for the another person because often it's happening that most of the people they cannot um, a communicator, they, they don't have the ability to communicate in a in a effective way. Yeah, so it means that uh, they want to express their communication, but because they don't have the ability to express the communication, they are expressing mostly their emotions, like their frustrations, their pa their pain. Um, or the unhappiness uh, that so they show to you that they are not glad, so it's something that they are not happy, but it could happen unconsciously, and that's where you have to be aware of. Yeah, and in everything, so in everything, it concerns the communication. 
So how good at you are you at the the communication? So in and to, to keep a conversation with with your conversator, it, it's there about, and you have to be aware of that. Or if you are not aware of the fact that you have to master your communication skills uh, and uh, and to be emotionally imbalanced as well, because you have to keep calm. It doesn't matter what what what's happened. You have to keep calm. To 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 take time, give the space so to your conversator. Take time and reflect on, and and immediately so try to solve the problem. So think always in solutions. Because. Especially if it it uh, concerns the coaches, yeah. You you are a mentor, you are a coach, so uh, you have to be aware of your po position. Or if you are a public speaker, just uh, avoid or overcome the conflicts. You know, ninety percent of the people, but truly ninety percent of the people of the it doesn't matter in which position they are they get mad in such situations because they are not happy with the conversation but when it happened so it means that you have at the same time to um to master your leadership skills and your communication and accountability so to take in in um in account, yes, uh, your position, in which position are you? And if someone makes uh, a mistake, just learn to give feedback. Not to judge, but to, to give feedback, just to, to be polite, so try to be polite and, and, and to, to teach the, another person even if the another person is not aware of the fact that he or she made a mistake yeah because often the people they are not aware of the fact that they, they made a mistake um but if you don't have the ability so you have to protect yourself through communication just just tell to them or to to hear to share to him or to 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 hear that that you are not um, glad uh, with the way who she or he is communicating towards you. You know the the communication is the uh, a key secret to achieve everything in your life, and it depends on how strong are you from the psychological and emotional point of faith. So there are um, different levels that you have to master. Of course, it, it cannot happen within one day, but if you work at that, at all your levels, at your consciousness and awareness, so you learn to master it within yourself. It's happened to me too, you know, so I was, um, uh, giving uh, a webinar to, to someone and um, the person was frustrated but I knew that and uh, often I'm observing so I always give the space to the people and I'm observing the behavior and the attitude of the people and then okay I think if the people is a word just that I, I I give them my attention, I do that. If the people is not worth and the the uh, they don't know how to to appreciate that, it's very easy. So you don't give them anymore, and that's the easiest way. And that's it. Just just to protect yourself from the emotional point of view. Then just so don't give them so the opportunity to hurt you. But it is in case if you don't have um, the ability or a strong uh, 
the strong communication skills. And because so I'm I'm aware of of my uh, communication or my skills, um, I I give always this space to the people uh, to realize the fact that they made the mistake. That's very important. It's it's a, a very wise method, yes, to to teach the people to get awareness about the mistakes that they are making because it can happen that's not up to you yeah uh you know so it can it could be that that the another person has problems or uh, has lost something in in uh, his or her life it's life so we we are human beings and uh, sometimes or so you you have to to be understandable, just so to be accountable, yes, and to show your leadership skills as well. But boundaries are always very, very important. So it means that when you set boundaries, so you teach the people how to treat you. If you uh, give them uh, space so until so far so it means that until so far you give the permission to the people to treat you by that way and it's okay to say to them stop so it's okay to to say to them that i don't like it or so it's okay to say to them that you don't like the way how they are communicating towards you or it's okay just to, to say to them that, that you don't like their behavior. And it, this all concerns awareness and the strength so of your character, of your personality. So if you um, will tell them that you don't like it, it doesn't mean that you are not good or so don't don't perceive it in our own way that's what what you have to clarify for yourself if you recognize in in a such situation but especially when it uh, concerns to to build up a, a, a romantic relationship often often there is misunderstanding uh when it comes to build up a beautiful relationship why because uh, when when you want to build um a beautiful relationship so with your partner uh if they are abusive towards you so that's not love and that's what you have to understand if you give space so to your partner and because you you like him or her so much or because you you have strong feelings for your partner um and the um they are using that that's not love because love is when uh, your partner respects your feeling when your partner respects so your qualities uh, and your personality but when they, they are trying to, um, uh, how can I um, express so uh, this sentence? When they, they, they want to take advantage of, so of, of your uh, flexibility, so you have to be very, very, very clear. So through your communication and to say um, immediately, so uh, sorry, but I don't like it. I don't like the way that uh, uh, which you are uh, communicating to me or so you have to, to be very honest towards yourself and towards your partner as well. If, if the, um, if your partner doesn't like it and if he doesn't accept so uh, what you are saying uh, then so 
it means that you have to explain why. So you have to find the courage why you are saying that. And so you, you can argument this through saying that, so he or she is hurting you or that you have you could explain that uh, you want to give feedback and to to build a healthy relationship because that's the way how it works a relationship through communication yes and and through through accountability and respect respect towards each other uh, you know i I have had so uh, this kind of situation and because so I was so kind and I was so sweet and I always did my best so for my partner especially for my husband he was so so arrogant and and how better I was who who, who powerless I, I, I became because in front of him because he was very, very do, dominating. So he wanted to dominate me. And especially when it, it uh, concerns a narcissist because my house bent, so he was a narcissist. At the time, I didn't knew that. So I didn't even know what does it mean is a narcissist. And it's people that uh, they have uh, um, psychological um, diseases and uh, and behavioral diseases as well at the same time. So, like they they are very aggressive, they are very dominating. So um, they always want to get right. Even if they have hearted you, they always want to get right, to be right. And that's not possible. He never, never in his life said to me, sorry about that or sorry I was wrong. It never happened like this. So I always must say to him, sorry, even if he was wrong. It's terrible. So, and because I was young, I was in love. So, uh, we got a daughter, and uh, I was, was, so I must be compromising with him only to keep the relationship. But that's not good. That's not a healthy relationship. I was too good, and I even didn't know that I was too good. So I was too kind, too sweet. And that's my advice to you. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't undermine yourself. Yes, don't underestimate yourself. Learn to appreciate yourself. Learn to prioritize yourself, your wishes. Prioritize as well your personal development. Work at yourself. Because you know, when it's love, when, when your partner loves you, he will do everything to help you to, to grow up together. But if it's a person who is trying to, to keep you down, that's not love. You know, so you have to be aware of, of this fact. Because when it's love, so the person uh, wishes you the best, all the best in the world, and he or she is doing everything, so everything for you. Or even if from the financial point of view, if, if if the person uh, doesn't have the possibility to, to support you, uh, at least from the moral point, point of view, he will do everything for you, to support you, to understand you, to motivate and inspire you. And that's when it's love, or at least he will say to, oh, sorry, baby, but at this moment I, I have uh, financial problems, but I will do my best to support you, to help you, how I can. So that's what, that's the difference that you have to understand. I think that this is a very, very huge uh, wake up call for uh, many women uh, and men as well, because 
and there are men that the, the are uh, experiencing a such a, a relationship. So I'm not for women, I'm not for, uh, for men, I'm neutral. I'm here as a coach just to, to give you some uh, examples to overcome this kind of toxic relationships because um, when there isn't emotional balance, when, when you are not happy in a relationship, that's not normal. So you don't have to accept that. I, it could be that the, there are um, uh, difficult situations in your life and that you have to, to fight to go through together. Yeah, okay, I can understand, but that's another, another case. But if you uh, support each other, if you understand each other, then that's love, that's true love. That's when, when you, you make a commitment so to go through difficulties together and to solve that, not to, to create more uh, problems and difficulties, but to try to solve it together. And that is what we call love. So to be uh, uh, understandable towards e each other, to support each other, and to contribute so to the growth of each other, to the personal growth. Because when there is honesty and sincerity, so the partners, they are trying to build something together. Don't forget that. When someone is saying to you that he or she they want to separate the finances from your finances. So it's it's a negative sign. Just don't 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 trust. Or you have to test out so the person just to to see if he or, or she has truly um, positive intentions towards you. Unfortunately, it's very hard time in this time, especially in the pandemic time. And um, a lot of people, so they are so frustrated, but so frustrated and uh, just to avoid, not to avoid, but to overcome, uh, to, to don't be used, you know, because especially when it comes to money, uh, unfortunately, so the people, they are doing everything. Just, they can tell you every, every, everything. That the world is so beautiful, the life is so beautiful, only to, to get you, especially for the women, yeah? If you are an independent woman from the financial point of view, and uh, if you notice so that your partner is asking you money, yeah, uh, without giving nothing in return, that's a bad sign. That's that's very, very negative. If he doesn't want to contribute to nothing in your life and he asks you money, just pay close attention. So be rational. Don't, um, don't be emotional in this uh, kind of, of uh, situations, but be rational. So use, you, use your rationality your, uh, in a logical way, just analyze the situation. Uh, I think that um, uh, many women, they, they have been uh, in a kind of situation. Um, I'm very critical about this because as a woman, I know my value, it's there about, yeah. Even, even if you have a good financial situation, you have to know your value, just how to be treated. How uh, far do you allow a man the way he uh, uh, treats you? Yeah, that's how your attitude is towards yourself. So if you allow the man to treat you so far by that way and you are not happy at all, then it means that you have to take a look 
inside of yourself at your boundaries. And so it means that you have to set or to learn to set boundaries. Because if uh, if you are not happy so with, with, with your relationship and, and your partner, so uh, treats you in a way that that it uh, doesn't make you happy. So just uh, wake up, uh, pay close attention at, at, at his behavior or his attitude, at his actions as well, at his intentions, what is he doing? How is he doing that? And if the partner is um, uh, so, if if he doesn't accept a, um, a honest conversation with you about these kind of things, and that's that's already a, a sign that you have to pay close attention. But it's a toxic relationship. It's not an honest relationship. You know, it, it could be that it depends on your mentality. Yeah? If you are a businesswoman, you, if you are an independent woman, and from the financial point of view, you, so you don't need a man, but you, you want to be in a relationship or if you, you want uh, to get married, you can from to to protect yourself as a woman to don't be used so you you could do half of half of 50 percent you and 50 percent your partner and it's not the intention you know just um, to show the to to your partner that um don't don't perceive it in 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 our own way that you are not bad yeah but it's the the way how you could protect yourself do you understand me because unfortunately you know thousands of women they are used um and because so they need attention they need love and um they they want the wish from the deep of their heart so the attention of a man um because of that so we are ready to give everything but that's not good just uh, keep uh, calm down and take time or to reflect on. Uh, first of all, so you have to, to talk with the partner in a very honest way. And what do you like? What you don't like? What do you truly want? What do you don't want? Because when a man has serious intentions, he will um, talk in uh, in a very open way with you about everything, you know, or at least um, I'm a type of woman so that I talk about everything. So about the things that I, I like uh, and about the things that I don't like. And to me, it's very, very normal. And this is as well a way to protect yourself from the emotional point of view. So because if you have strong, uh, communication skills and courage to be a lady because there is a very huge difference to be a lady when you you will master the skills to be a lady you will notice how respected will you become but if in 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 your situation you are not respected as a lady so and you don't like it uh, so it means that's not the right partner and even if it's very painful to you, but you have to accept that. And to make changes, of course, because if you don't like the situation, if you don't like how you are treated as a woman, so it means that you have to let go of the person. It means that the person is, is not for you. It's not, it, 